Okay. Chapter 14, day four, focus today. Uh, how do we determine the number and type of triangles that we can make given an angle and two sides of a triangle? And you may say, well, how can you make more than one triangle? I'll show you in class with a little diagram uh, how it's possible. And so what we have to do is, depending on the information given, we're gonna have to look at how many possible triangles we can make. So for example, let's say I have a triangle, angle A is 35 degrees, okay? Little a is 10, little c is 12. Determine the number and type of triangles that can be made. So first step, draw a picture and find the missing angle to the nearest degree. So I've got to draw myself a picture. So here's my picture. Notice I didn't connect this. I guess I could, but I don't know what this angle is going to be or how long this is, but I guess I could, I probably could connect it. And let's see, A is 35, so I'll put A here. Little A is 10. C is 12. Put B here, okay? Determine the number and type of triangles. I don't want you to get hung up on where A, B, and C are. They give me an angle. They give me the side across from that angle. They give me another side. I want to find the angle across from that side. Okay? So, I am going to use law of sines to find the missing angle. So, 10 over sine 35, 12 over sine x. Use law of sines. Sine x is a decimal. Second sine, I get 43 degrees. So, here's my triangle. It comes out to be 43 degrees. All right? So, let's read what this says. It says, find the third angle of this triangle and classify it. Because the question was, how many and the type? So I'm, I'm right here right now. So 35 and 43, 35, 43 is 78. All right, so this has to be 102. So this triangle, I would say, is obtuse. Okay, so I've classified this as obtuse. Now see if I can make a second triangle. Well, how do we do that? Well, what we have to do is ask ourselves, can I take this same angle, this same length, but take this value and turn it inward so it actually would hit in here. Is that possible? Okay? So in other words, if I take the same 12 and the same 10 and the same 35, is there any way I could get this in here? I can't set up a law of signs because it's going to give me 43 every time. But we know, we know from previous work that sine in quadrant one and two would have the same value as long as it has the same reference angle, right? So 180 minus 43 is 137. If I took the sine of 137, I would get the same exact answer. So my question is, could this be the second angle? So, see if we can make a second triangle. What do we need to do? You do 180 minus the first angle you found. And then you have to see if it works. So I do 180 minus this 43. 180 minus it, all right? So now I have 137. You might say, well, yeah, we can make a second triangle. Not necessarily. I have 35. I'm gonna put 137 in here. This angle goes in right here. The 35 was what was given. That has to go right here. You can't change the given angle. I'm gonna see if this will work. What do you mean it will work? Well, what if 35 and 137 was more than 180? 
then it wouldn't work. If it's less than 180, then it will. So I'll take 137 plus 35, so that's 172. Yeah, it'll work. 180 minus 172 is 8 degrees. So this is 8 degrees. We can make a second triangle. What kind of triangle is this? This is also an obtuse triangle. So I'm going to say, again, the question was, how many and what type? I got an obtuse one here. This isn't always obtuse, but it is for this problem. I got an obtuse one here. So what I'm going to say, I'm going to say we can make two obtuse triangles. Okay, I'm just going to recap that. We use law of sines to find this first angle. We classify the triangle. Okay? Now, since sine has the same value, quadrant 1 and 2, we do 180 minus this to get a possible other angle. We put it in. We draw a new triangle. Add these up. Is there any room left to make 180? Yes, there is. 8 degrees. I made another triangle. I have two. Let's take a look at a couple other examples that I have. So, for example, let's say our initial angle was 60. Across from it is 3. I have 12. How many triangles? I do law of sines, and it gives me an error message. Sine ended up bigger than 1, and we know sine must be less than or equal to 1, um, <clears throat> or negative 1. I got an error message, therefore I don't make any triangles. If you think about this, if this is a length of 12, this length of 3 is so small, it will never hit down here. So if I get an error message, I get no triangles. How many triangles? Well, another situation, 55 degree angle. 55 degree angle, opposite side is 17, the other side is 15, again let's find x. I do law of sines, it gives me an angle of 46 degrees. I draw my triangle with a 46 degree angle, 55 plus 46, subtract from 180, this is 79. So I made one triangle that's acute. Now let's go through the same process again. I'm going to do 180 minus the number that I had. I get 134. So here we are, trying to put a 134 and a 55. I have to use my original. This is over 180. So there's no way I can make a second triangle. It's too big. So in this case, I get only one triangle. So sometimes you might get two triangles. Sometimes you might get no triangles. Sometimes you might get one triangle. If this angle that you find is 90 degrees, perfectly up and down here, you'll also get just one triangle. Okay? So, uh, our task in class is going to be to figure out how many triangles we can make.